Hi all, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your daily vibes for Tuesday, March 27th. Someone is taking action, moving forward, starting something brand new. They've learned something or they're starting a new adventure. It looks like someone is building a new foundation somewhere. Maybe an, an old something, something fell apart. Okay, there could be a foundation that cracked, fell apart, and someone is deciding to build elsewhere. Okay, they're taking action, willing to let go of the past foundation that wasn't stable. Yes, this is what's going on. Somebody's making a conscious change to let go of the past. This is what has happened here. It's like somebody has decided to take action and to use all their resources to move forward and to bit rebuild. Okay, that's what's happening here. It's like I've took taken the time that I need to heal and to um, learn from whatever this situation was. And now I'm ready to rebuild. I'm ready to start over again. It, it feels like I know like many of you have had some power struggles going back and forth. But I feel like that is over. You've done your inner work. And now this is this is starting from the gr ground zero building again, rebuilding. And these fours are foundations. These are both reversed. So it just tells me that somebody has um, decided to to rebuild again after something broke down. It wasn't stable. They're using their resources, taking action um, to bring success to their lives. It's like, I know that I have the power to rebuild again. So because I feel so confident in my abilities to rebuild again, I'm just going to go do it. Somebody is making a conscious change to free themselves from the past. Yeah, another four reversed. Somebody has is definitely releasing, okay? They're no longer holding on, all right? Because, I mean, like I said, fours are about foundations. So, you know, there's like, I, I know this the, the, that didn't serve me. I realized it didn't serve me. I'm good. I'm out of here. I'm moving on. You know, wherever, the, wherever you were at, I think there was some sort of oh, perhaps a commitment that didn't work out. It didn't work out. I realized it didn't work out. And now I am ready to take action. Okay. Whatever was, was, was going on, it wasn't the traditional approach. It wasn't um, the traditional foundation. It wasn't what you were used to. And it didn't allow you to follow your own path and to believe in your own ways. That whatever this was, it didn't fulfill you. You know, even though at the time you might have thought it fulfilled you, it didn't fulfill you. And it caused a lot of conflicts and power struggles probably between you and another person. I'm just going to make sure that this is zoomed in correctly. It looks pretty good. Somebody had some uh, blind faith. Okay, they didn't, their, their faith wasn't true. They didn't even know what they were dealing with. Okay. You know, so it feels as though now they've come to this conclusion. They've re received this information from within where they see that this wasn't meant to work out. And they're good. I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, it's like there's a rebirth here. Somebody has gone through some sort of rebirth and they're starting to rebuild. There's a lot of self-love here. Somebody has gained a lot of 
inner strength over this period of time of breakdown, okay? Because there's been a breakdown in, in some sort of commitment foundation. And through this suffering, there has been growth, a lot of growth. And now they're moving forward very quickly, mastering their emotions, replacing fear with faith, real faith, and heading in the right direction very, very quickly, releasing the past. I am seriously letting go. This is the Four of Pentacles reverse. No longer holding on to something that didn't serve you. I am letting go. Yes, somebody is, is rebuilding a new foundation and letting go of something that wasn't meant to be. Wherever you were at, it was unrealistic. Okay, it was. It was unrealistic. There was a lot of criticism. Um, and you may have been feeling like you were being attacked. And maybe that's why the foundation fell apart. Who wants to feel like they're being attacked? Nobody. But when you get to that state of state where you're feeling so low, you, the only place you can go from there is up, right? And so whatever has happened has brought you strength. And with strength brings compassion. So I feel like you have turned into somebody that um, loves themselves through this process, okay? There's a lot of self-love. There's, there's liberation here. Somebody has come to the realization that I am now free to follow a new path. And I'm moving forward very, very quickly with this chariot card. Somebody is headed in the in the right direction with at a great pace put it that way not looking back I'm not looking back and it feels like they you know there's an increase of appreciation here and I think it's an increase of pre an appreciation of the lessons learned the strength and growth that was obtained through this process. And I feel like now, you know, there is some sort of using your skills to move forward, okay, to release. Somebody is appreciating what they learned from this broken foundation, okay? They're using what they've learned. They're, they're, they're keeping the skills they've learned and they're moving forward to build their new foundation with those skills now in their back pocket, okay? Somebody has learned something really big. And now they are, uh, are moving forward with a solid, stable plan. Somebody has come up with a plan for the future. And they're freeing themselves from deception, lies, sneakiness. They were dealing with somebody who was sneaky and abusive. And it feels like now somebody is... They've completely removed themselves from the situation. And they've closed that door. They've closed that door with this person that betrayed them. And now there's a, there's a feeling of freedom, liberation, happiness, faith, a renewed faith to rebuild a new foundation and release and make the conscious change that will allow them to be happy. You know, I have to remind you guys is to try not to be naive or reckless on this new journey. Perhaps this is one of the lessons you learned. Maybe you know, because this is naive and reckless and reverse. So perhaps one of the lessons here was slow and steady wins the race. 
This is the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, slow and steady wins the race. When you act impulsively, be prepared to live with the consequences of your impulsive actions. I think somebody has learned because the Empress is down below. They have they have grown from this experience where, you know, there was blind faith and they, they jumped. Somebody jumped into a situation that was totally a lesson. Okay, it was a lesson that needed to be learned. I see that slow and steady wins the race and somebody has decided to use the skills that they have learned from this past experience to move forward and start over again, to not be naive and not be reckless with the next foundation they build, okay? There is definitely, I mean, with the Ten of Swords and the Ten of Wands, both reversed, those are both freedom and liberation. Somebody has totally let go of the burdens. They're bringing balance back to their lives. They're bringing balance back to their minds. They're letting go of the struggle and rebuilding again. So today is a day of planning or starting the rebuild. With faith and trust, someone is feeling a lot of uh, mental strength with the chariot under here. The chariot is mental strength where somebody has mastered their emotions to the, to the uh, amount that they have no fear. They're feeling good. They're in with the Empress and the Chariot card here. Somebody is right on top of their game. They're feeling really good about who they are. They're thinking very positive and they're not holding in animosity. I don't see animosity here at all. I feel like today is a day of just letting go of whatever didn't work out, using the lessons that you've learned to rebuild. That's what I have for today.